This video is about the walk here around Tisa Labangon. So we are here right now in the vicinity of Tisa Labangon, Cebu City. So as you know, Tisa is the home of the famous Shomai sa Tisa. So you got there sharpening some knives and machetes. So we are just passing by the Barangay Hall of Tisa here in Cebu City. Tisa is alive during at night because there is the first, like you know, like um, food concept like Subo Mercado when there's a lot of people selling on the streets and half of the streets is being blocked with stalls for people to dine in so that's what Tisa is famous for I don't know if they have have they already started that again where they eat on the street? they stop. so Sen said it's already stopped because she, he knows people here for the moment because like this road here will be blocked and there will be people dining in for the famous Shomai Satisa. So we are on our way to find one stall that sells Shomai. So this is the area, if you see across there's Lechon, here is the Shomai areas and they have this place on the road, on the streets, it used to be, oh we go to Tisa to eat some Shomai and dine on the roadside. So we are following all this. So there's another Shomayan that sells Shomai, but this is the one that sends favorite. They have the dynamite, which is spring rolls with chilies. Moyong at 8 pesos, dynamite at 10, 6, 6. Then they have fried chicken, 50 pesos, crab meat, 25, stuffed eggs, then pork, ground, bola bola, spring rolls, a uh, spring bean, bean sprout spring rolls and the meat spring rolls. So this is Justin's food house. Why took Bahai Shumai Satisa? Ligot ka? So this is the shomai. A shomai is actually like steamed dumplings. It's steamed pork, spices, and then wrapped in dumplings um, with a shomai wrapper. That, that's what you can see. And then you eat it with chili sauce and then hanging rice. So here the shomai is six pesos each. It's only 10 o'clock, 10, 10.30, so there's not a lot of diners yet. 
Ito na mo interesting ka eh. So, this is in Justin's Food House, White of Bahay. Shomai sa Tisa. So, this is what's inside a shomai. It's ground pork and then mixed with spices, then steamed with all wrapped in the shomai wrapper and steam and this is so popular here in Cebu City that it's coming from Tisa around this place is the popular shomai that's why they always have the slogan that their shomai is from Tisa because the original makers are supposed to be coming from here although some people have already got their own steak of different kinds of cooking different style of the shomai then that's the sauce that comes with it chili sauce that you also put on top there the chili sauce that you dip the shomai with because it's only steamed pork steamed ground pork with spices and wrapped in shom uh, shomai wrappers you're looking at here now we are in Tisa Labangon Cebu City this is the home of the famous Shomai Satisa so you can see before this road will be half during the night because the people are dining on the roadside in which it is stopped for the moment because of this world disease but they still open here in Labangon for the Tisa. You can see across, this is Binontagay refreshment, Silugan sa Tisa. And over here, this is the Waitogpahay. So we will be walking around here in Tisa to give you a glimpse of what the place is. And for those brothers and sisters that um, come from here, they can reminisce their past childhood places or their place that they used to hang out here in Tisa Labangon so we are now walking around to give you a feel Tisa is one of the busiest streets here in Labangon you have seen Tres de Abril Katipunan so here is the other side of Labangon Again, Sen is familiar with the area because he used to live here. Yes. So there's a lot of urban settlers as well. Oh. So I was saying to Sen that why don't we hire a bicycle trike? He said that it don't reach to the places. So we are leading you to the market of Tisa Labangon. So you can see all these people here. Using a BMW, a bike. <laughs> this, is the market. this is the market of Tisa Labangon. So you see, there's a lot of vendors. It's only like small alleyways where they display their items. And this one here inside where there's those of different stalls tauge pila yung kilos tauge 60 same in pitos because you know yesterday in Talisa that was just 35 pesos 
per kilo. So it's not very big market. So it's not a very big market, like I said. But you can buy all things for food. <laughs> so this is like the end of the market. It's only a small market, but you know, with the pricing that I have asked, it's the same price as in Pitos, so might as well buy it before we go home in Pitos, so it remains fresh, we don't carry it around as we are walking around. So they got all the cr rice grain and grits there on the other side. It's only a small market, but it's enough for the people around here. Because they have also the proper shops like that one, the meat. Oh, it's very hot. And the market continues here. There's a lot of shops. It's for the villages. So. Um, small villages. So where do we go? Baya Laba. Punta Princesa here on the back. We go to the Barangay Hall. ride a motorbike to show you a... let's go on the side there's a mobile shop here Pila? oh sorry they're not the route to Deca homes that Sen wants to show me So I said, is it here or we cross over? Yeah. We will ride a motorbike towards Deca Homes, Tisa. Tisa na nga Deca Homes? Okay, piste. So we are on a motorbike now going to the different part of Tisa Labangon. That's the Santa Cruz Tisa Chapel. So we are in Diamond Street, Tisa.
So there's some nice buildings here now. So we are continuing on our tour around Tisa, Labangon. So since moaning that it before when he lives here, it's only a few people that lives in that area, but now it's full up. In fact, there's an urban deca homes. Too. So many people now is living on the hillside of Labangon. Try to see if we uh 7 Eleven. So we'll buy some uh, Bukari sweet. A pick up Bukari sweat. <laughs> Again, no pathways for you to walk. So you are inclined to go on the road. So this is the Barangay Tisa National High School and also where the fire station is. And uh, the Barangay Hall, the picture of Jesus has been changed. It's now a uh, younger Jesus. There's so many vendors on the roadside though. They're all boko juice. Oh, there's a pile of nangka there. <laughs> Maybe we check if they have Bukhari sweat. A karinderia on the side. 360. I just have to buy a drink. So we are continuing our walk about after buying some drinks, of course. Um, here in Tisa, Labangon, Cebu City.
So we are now gonna pass Gaisano Capital. They have one here where I usually park. Which is good. And this is in the vicinity of the Gaisano Capital Tisa. Yeah. So on your right there, on your left rather, the San Jose Village. So where Tisa ends there? Because I have to ask Sand when it comes to places that where he used to live because he's familiar with it. So we are now coming to an end where Tisa Labangon vicinity is. Now there's a pathway at last. So this is like the Tisa Elementary School we're gonna pass by. Is this now? Because the look Tisa Elementary School. And there's the Tisa Elementary School. Of course, it's closed because it's now just modular. And this bridge will be the boundary of the Barangay Tisa and now Barangay Ponta Princesa. So this is the Liamas Bridge, the boundary. Of Tisa Labangon. What's Tisa there? 